Hello and welcome to the video. I'm Jim the Mower and today we're going to be looking at the Ferex Mini Air Compressor available for just $29.99 on an Aldi Special Buy. So let's get it open and see what's in the box. Right, I can see it's been quality controlled, inspected either side. So we just slip that open and that one, just in case. And let's have a look and see what we've got. First thing out is a carry case. That's always handy. There's the mini air compressor itself. That must be the battery charger. And then here's the battery itself. Should be some instructions. So, oh, there's some other bits and pieces. Something in there, I'll have a look at that in a second. So there's the plug for the battery charger, the instruction book, and a mystery package. All right, three adapters in there. So I'll put those in there so I don't lose them. I'll just go and have a quick look at the instruction book and charge the battery up, and I'll be right back with you. Well, I popped into the house, put the battery on charge, had a cup of tea, and uh, here we are again. It didn't take long to charge up. It was uh, already got three lights, uh, uh, three lights on. I just left it on for another 10 minutes. You can see on the back there, just to make sure there's enough in it for this demonstration. Now, that was the first learning curve anyway. So I got the battery home, thought this was a battery charger, and thought, well, how can I connect this into this? And it wouldn't quite go, so I, uh, I got this lead out and I was looking around at stuff and trying to work out what it was. I got this out, there's a lead in the back and I thought, oh, 12 volt system. I'll tell you what, I'll just plug it in in the truck and I can charge it up. And when I plug this in, I realised this isn't a charger, it's actually an adapter and it run the, the machine itself. So we plug this into the 12 volt socket in the vehicle or wherever you've got a 12 volt socket. You can put the compressor on top and it fits in like that. And it's basically a battery, a battery adapter. It will just run the device straight away. So that's a, that's a handy little gadget to have on there. So I had to have another look at the battery and I was figuring out where the charger was. I'm missing some pieces here. But no, there's an actual little charging port on the back in there. And this one plugs directly into it. So you've got the battery and charger in one which has got to be handy because the amount of batteries, stroke chargers I've lost or not compatible, etc. You've got them all in one. It's, it's always got to be worthwhile. So anyway, that's the battery charged up and then we can see how this works. All we do is an easy positive lock as normal. Slide that on and you hear it click. Push the button down and it slides off. So no bother there. Once that's on and done, we turn it round at the back. And there's a little screen on there and it's on and unit so we just turn it on and then it's in bar so I hold that down and I'll put it to PSI now I presume some of you work in bar but most of the stuff that we use here in the UK is set as PSI which is pounds per square inch I know we're moving over to a metric system now and this is still imperial but that all the stuff that we look at is usually listed in that I've got a deflated football here to try first and you look on the top and it's got 0.5 bar or firstly seven pounds per square inch seven psi maximum so i think we'll put that in that's quite low and i did read in the instructions that it might not detect the seven psi on the gauge at the back here because it's such a low amount whatever we'll try and we'll see how we get on so in our little brown envelope we have the three adapters that one's for air beds the, the small black nozzle that one's, I think, for some special bike tyres. I'm not 100% sure, but I know this one's for footballs and stuff. I know that. Um, so basically, we just put the adapter 
into the end of the gun, push it down and it's locked firmly in place. It's an easy thing, just lift that up and that slides out, push that in, slide it down, done, locked in place. Now we'll pop this into the football, that goes in there, and then we turn this to on, and it's on zero, zero, and set as PSI, and then hopefully I'll give the trigger a squeeze and it should start to inflate. Right, there you go. That was quite quick and handy. And it has actually read that out on there, 7 PSI. So it can detect that in, oh, it's just dropped down a 6.5. Yeah, 7 PSI on there, so I'm happy with that. So it's pumped it up, and anybody who's ever played football will know, you pick it up, squeeze it, and that's about right. So I'm happy with that, 7 PSI. We'll try something else. So no prizes for guessing what we're going to blow up next because it's a bike tyre. So, right, let's have a quick look. We've got the valve down here on there. As you can see, this bike's quite flat. It's been sat in the shed for a few days. They always get slow punctures, you know, and it's a bit of a pain. But anyway, that's flat. Let's have a look round. I did see on here somewhere where we're going to... Max pressure, 40 to 45 PSI. Um, there's no bar on there, so it's just 40 to, 40 to 55 PSI. So if we go somewhere in the middle, probably about 45, we know we're on the safe side then, don't we? So if we do, we don't need any adapter for this bike, wi bike wire, bike wheel. <laughs> we put this on just as normal, and you probably hear a little bit of air seeping out. We lock this valve over the top, and that's it. And then we turn our compressor on again, I'll just go steady because I think this will go up quite quickly. Right, that's gone up quite quickly and that tyre feels really hard to me and being as we're going to be doing a bit of like sort of country trails and things I don't really want it that hard it's 38 psi now I'll just put it up to 40 and it should be more than firm enough for, for what we need so There you go, that's up to 41 PSI. So expect a little bit of leakage when I take it out, but yeah, that's good. That went up quite quickly, I was happy with that. It's firm, it's held in place. We just gotta see if we can get this off without losing too much. There we go. That's not so bad. Little bit, little bit seeped out there, but it was all right. So that's that one done, I'm happy with that. Um, probably need a little bit of air in the back as well. I'll put that one up to 48 to match them up. And there you go, spot on. You hear the tone of the gun change a little bit, you know, as the, as the pressure starts to build up. 
the, the motor starts to slow down a little bit. So we've done something at 7 PSI. We've done these up to 40 PSI. And then I think after this, we're going to do a car, no, not a car wheel. We'll do a trailer wheel. I can get a trailer wheel in here and do a trailer wheel. And they go up to about 90 PSI, but we normally run them about 60 to 65. So we'll see how it copes with that. And now onto the trailer tire. Now this is the main reason why I bought this cordless mini air compressor is because when you're using it on your vehicle, you can plug it into the, the cigarette lighter socket. You can reach every wheel all the way around. No problem at all. You've got a mower, you can pull it up to the side, you can blow that up. However, we've got a 16 foot trailer. So that's sitting way behind there. It's got six of these wheels on it and they're really hard to access. We're trying to like put wires together, put extension cables on. Somebody's tripping over it or they don't make a great connection. So one of these is really going to come in handy. Plus, as you can see, we've done the bikes, the footballs. You can just carry it out and about, go wherever you go. I just want to make sure with this, this is a brand new tyre fitted to this rim. They sit in the corner of our, our yard, really. We're always after new wheels and tyres. They're getting scraped and uh, worn out with having a big trailer. But the real test will be pumping these up. Most car tyres are anywhere between sort of 25 to about 35, 40 max. And these go up to 90 PSI. I'll rerun these at about 60 to 65. So if it can handle that, I'm happy it can handle anything. So let's just give it a quick blast. I'm sure since we've had this one fitted, it will have gone down because it's been there a few months. So new tyre, old rim, they're always a bit leaky. So oh, we'll get this on first. All right. Fifty one point five PSI. So we'll see if we can get it up to sixty. Right, that's got up there, it's 60 PSI. We can get a photo of that on there. I don't know if you can see it close up, but we've got 60 PSI. So now from 60 PSI, we'd be happy with that. However, it get you home, but I'd like to pump it up to 65 because that's what we normally use them at. Let's see how long it takes. Right, that's spot on. 65 PSI, we're happy with that. Probably, I don't know, a couple of minutes all in from start to 65, that's quite good. It says on the box it'll go up to about 150 PSI. I don't know what it would blow up that ever need that. So this is well within our range. I'm happy with that. Wow, that's a great bit of kit then. I'm really happy with that. We've got the carry bag with it. We've got the valves there. I'll keep those in that little envelope and back in the bag. It's blown up the football, the bike tire, the trailer tire. It'll blow up a car tire with these. It's great, really, really good. We've still got plenty of battery life left in it as well. There's two lights on there, as you can see. So it's last for ages, I should think. Keep that battery topped up and put it in the bag with the other one. Keep the adapter in there. And I should think you've got a pump for every occasion, really. I'm really happy with it. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it and found it informative. If you do like what you see, please write something nice in the comment section below. We've got loads of other videos for you to go and have a look at. I'm Jimmy the Mower. I'll catch you on the next one.